Hi everyone, I wanted to give you an update on the legal matters when it comes to egg freezing. So to recap, I did a video about how you have to sign all these forms, but one of the forms is about what would happen to your eggs if something was to happen to you. And the only options that my doctor's office gave was for my eggs to be destroyed, my eggs to be donated for research, or my eggs to be given to a partner, a partner or spouse. Well, if I had a partner or spouse, I wouldn't necessarily be in this situation. Um, so for me, I want to give my eggs to my family, particularly my mom. So God forbid something happens to me, she has the option of having the grandbaby of her dreams by finding a sperm donor and, you know, having the eggs that I have um, frozen uh, turned into embryos and, you know, ultimately turned into a baby. Not to say that my mom would do that because Lord knows we can't afford that but I at least wanted that option. So they were telling me that I had to get a legal document. So I found a lawyer um, and the lawyer was like, literally, it's not that complicated. You can do exactly what you initially thought you could do, which is cross it out, indicate what you want and make sure that a notary, you know, signs it to verify that you did this in front of them and whatever, whatever. So that's what I did. I found a notary. I crossed it on the form, spouse, partner, and put family member, specifically stated my mom and got it notarized. So when I took it to the doctor's office, he still wasn't trying to accept it. He was like, look, our lawyers write this up for a reason. I was like, but you don't take into account single women who don't have a partner or spouse and don't want their eggs destroyed or given to research. Like, it's my eggs, I should determine what to do. And it, it actually was not a cool argument to have with your doctor. So ultimately, he is accepting it, or at least for now. I know I need to get a will done, but for right now, like just to get through the process, this is what we're going with. I was like, look, let me just get through the egg freezing. You know, I know next steps, I need to do a will, but there's a lot of next steps for me at this point, right? It's like next steps, I need to figure out IVF, how to pay for it, if I'm going to use a sperm donor, who's the sperm donor. Like, I don't even want to think about that right now because I'm just trying to grow some eggs. <laughs> um, but yes i know i need to do a will it's about time i'm 38 years old and not that i have a lot of assets but there are things in my life that i want um you know done in a certain way if i'm not here or not capable to make those decisions for myself so yeah legal part two it's somewhat resolved not totally resolved like i i did what i thought i needed to do to make my wishes known and to have it legally binding but there's still this outlier so again things to consider when you're doing the egg freezing process uh who knew that trying to determine what happens to your eggs when you're gone it would be such a big deal and that there just isn't a lot of expertise in the area because it's not a common thing but as women get older and are more focused on their careers and not marrying as young, it is an issue that will need to be addressed more. And hopefully, you know, these videos will give insight to someone else that's going through the process. So yeah, legal part two, resolved for now, but I still need to ultimately get a will done.